హలో గాయస్ దిస్ ఇస్ జగన్ ఫ్రమ్ క్యాపిటల్ జోన్ సో లాస్ట్ వీక్ ఐ పుట్ ఎ వీడియో అబౌట్ హౌ టు డే గ్రో అప్ మై త్రీ ఇయర్ క్యాపిటల్ టు సారీ హౌ టు డే గ్రో అప్ త్రీ ఇయర్ క్యాపిటల్ టు త్రీ క్రోర్స్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద బాటిల్ నాక్స్ ఐ ఫేస్డ్ అండ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో యాక్చువల్లీ లెట్ మీ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ ద లర్నింగ్ కౌ సో ఈచ్ ఇయర్ వాట్ వాజ్ ద లర్నింగ్ ఓకే సో హౌ టు డే లర్న్ ఫ్రమ్ హూ మై లర్న్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ మై అబ్జెక్టివ్ ఆఫ్ ద గోల్ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ వై డి డే చేంజ్ మై స్ట్రాటజీ ఈచ్ ఇయర్ and uh, if you notice myself actually uh, closely for 6 uh, to 7 years and this year also i have changed my strategy what is the reason behind it so i will update uh, about uh, my learning curve in this video and it is much much powerful and useful than the video what i put in the last week okay guys uh, if you would have missed my uh, video uh, about 3l to 3 crores okay so uh, there is a separate video wherein i have explained how did i get a capital and what is the return i have achieved and uh, how did i achieve that's what i had mentioned in a separate video uh, wherein uh, you can find the information so the respective link is available in the description you can find it so with that actually let me go actually how did i start and uh, how did i learn and what i do right now and what is the changes i am looking for so let me update okay so 2014 okay so it my trigger was happened in 2014 around april in summer days when there is no power there is no uh, power at all and i don't have a uh, uh, inverter connection as well so during that time i had no choice i'm supposed to read the book rich dad poor dad okay and my capital was zero and it was during the summer i started reading this books wherein i got the information that jagan if you are really working hard and if you are uh, doing uh, any pattern and it is useful only to the corporate and it is not useful to you if you are really skillful if you are really knowledgeable you are going to make extra some income in job but you are not going to get a exponential growth if you want exponential growth there are two options option 1 you should do the business option 2 you should do the investment okay but option 2 investment actually you need a capital and option 1 also you need a capital but investment you need a huge capital because investment is not going to give bread and butter it is not active income it is a passive income wherein the business actually it is going to be very very active income so i decided that actually i will do the business and will get a some income then i will move to the investor so that is the thought process i had and uh, rich dad poor dad is the key point wherein actually i started moving to the uh, business mindset uh, from the job mindset that is a trigger key okay so when i was reading this book and honestly speaking i am not a reader at all uh, before 2014 but i got curious because this book said that actually don't go to job okay don't look for promotions don't look for a hike always look for a business okay from this book there was a recommendation that the richest man in babylon okay so though i read this book rich dad poor dad okay so uh, since i'm coming from a humble background okay i always had a mindset of communism okay so what is the mindset only the rich people will become a rich poor people become a poor so that is a standard so that's what i had a thought but this book is the bible for all financial freedom if you have to read two books in financial field i would recommend rich dad poor dad and then the richest man in babylon is the only book is enough to cover all financial related knowledge or concepts why because in this book it does not matter how much money you have you can still become a rich so it is teaching i think seven to eight steps by which you can become grow it does not matter where you are right now so this book changed my mindset from the communist to the capitalist uh, mindset so that's where i started then i was looking for a lot of business okay so then i came to the stock market okay in 2014 the only source i had is actually i used to go through all tamil magazine tamil tv channels wherein actually there are a lot of free workshops available there are a lot of paid workshops available and i went to lot of workshops from where actually i found that actually option selling is the key then what i did okay i tried to look for the best people in tamil nadu because i was watching only tamil channel not watching cnbc okay uh, then i want to have association with uh, big traders in tamil nadu so that's how i started okay so when i started i had a list of people to communicate and he was the last one but when i met him i found that actually he is the only trader 
I mean the very famous celebrity trader in Tamil Nadu wherein he sells options. All other people are option buyers or all other people are from future players. I still wonder actually there are many experts in the market but why people are not selling options? I'm talking about the experts. But I found him very genuine because from the day one actually he started selling options. I also decided that actually to sell options. Okay. In 2014 I started meeting him. I learned a lot of, lot of things from him. So there are many things I learned from him and some of the things and let me put it here. First one, you can always learn the different strategies from the YouTube or uh, our books. But there are unique things what I learned from Mr. P. R. Sundar sir. Okay, so what is that? Use of span margin. In 2014, nobody knew that. People knew what different different strategies, but use of span margin, nobody knew that. Nobody knew it. What is that? You need to pay only 50% of the margin. Okay, so that you can double your return. Okay, that's a very useful info information. And then different types of collateral. During that time, everyone was talking about strategies, how to make money, but they never concentrate on the collateral return. You can keep the FD as a collateral, you can keep liquid base as a collateral, and liquid base is considered as a cash component. All these are facts, but not known to the not known to the common man. So this I learned and different option strategies. Okay, so he only recommended two books, and book number one is. NSE uh, uh, trading book, NSE option strategies books, wherein actually we can have a list of books, we can list of strategies. Number two, actually, the complete uh, reference book, option selling uh, book, uh, written by James Corridor. So those two books actually, from there actually we have learned lot of lot of option strategies. Okay, with the different expiry from same expiry. But I would look, I would like to say that actually and adjustments, ninety percent of my adjustment I learned from Mr. P. S. Sundar sir, because. There is no, literally there is no book at all for adjustment, especially for Indian, Indian market. Okay. You take it the same expiry. People do only simple, simple adjustment. Okay. So they will move the call, they will move a put and that's what I do. That's what most people uh, will do. But they never know actually how to use a different expiry for adjustments, which I learned from him and using the future as a hedge. You would have seen people using option as a hedge for future. but. I learned that actually future can be used as a hedge, especially for short shuttle. And if I have to say the right word, he is a complete reference for me for any option adjustments model. I learned all adjustments uh, techniques from him and risk management wise, there are two things he taught to me. Okay, so I learned from him. One is the possible black span event. Okay, uh, he track, he keep tracks of all blocks for an event, he track, keep tracks of all the news, fundamental things, wherein the possibility of the blocks for an event actually I learned from him and the gamma risk. Okay, so gamma risk is what? Very simple. Gamma is the place where you can't do the adjustments, which is going to be the last two weeks. From the day one, from 2014, when I entered, okay, so even in a, even I was a beginner, I avoided the last week or last to two weeks trading and that is a success for my trading because last to two weeks will give a huge profit, last to two weeks uh, which will give a huge uh, loss as well. Okay, And he knows the market, stock market jurisdiction. What is that? So for example, actually if you go to the roads, right, so traffic police uh, may catch you and will ask for uh, some papers right so you never know the complete jurisdiction likewise actually there is a jurisdiction for the market okay at what time the market will open how do they do the freeze okay if you are selling any stocks and if you are not able to give a deliver uh, uh, delivery what will happen okay if there is a margin if the broker is saying actually there is a margin shortfall how do you verify it okay if there is an unauthorized uh, uh, trade in your account how do you raise a complaint all st stock market jurisdiction you name anything okay and he is a complete reference. So if you have any doubt about the stock market jurisdiction, you can always ask him on Twitter and the tax management also. So tax management, it is not evading the tax management. It is avoiding the tax management and how efficiently we can uh, save the tax. Okay. Uh, by writing the expenses, by shifting the account to uh, uh, 
your spouse account or brother account so the all these things i learned from him and he only we had a difference of opinion about the market view and he followed the fundamental and i followed the data and uh, he said actually you, why don't you put all your uh, thought process into the uh, blog and that's where i started uh, writing the blogs so these are all learnings i learned from him and it is still applicable uh, uh, till right now and uh, if i have to name only one person who from whom i learned actually uh, uh, biggest thing in stock market and it is none other than the mr p s nandar sir so lot of people ask actually what did you learn uh, again uh, from mr p s nandar sir so these are the things it is not only option strategies it is lot more than that okay so let's come to that my learning so 2014 to 2015 Okay, I was amateur trader. Okay, amateur trader. What is the strategy I was doing? So, capital of three lakhs, naked short straddle, net naked short strangle only in Nifty, no adjustments. I don't know any adjustments. Then only I learnt all adjustments. This time I was literally actually learning the option selling very aggressively. If you give any option selling book, I will complete in a week. Sorry, I complete in a day. day and night i i study and then complete the entire book so that's what i was doing in 2014 and 15 the reason why i was making money in 2014 and 15 thanks to the market because it was not volatile that is the real reason if i would have started uh, my trading in 2019 and 20 maybe i would have not been here okay market was dead silence in 2014 and 15 sell any option any amateur will make money and uh, that is the reason why i was making money so I don't have any credits for making profit in this year. <laughs> okay, and 2015 and 16. Okay, active adjust adjustments. Why I'm selling? So started the capital was actually eight lakhs, sixty-four percent, and started selling options based on premium. This I learned from Mr. P. S. Sundar sir. Rather than looking at the Greeks, actually I started looking. Uh, selling options for premium and mostly on strangles and very less on straddles and avoided the gamma risk as I said before and. completed my uh, completed my nism exam this will give a confidence okay so somebody is certifying that actually you know some little bit uh, thing in nism uh, i mean uh, derivative part so this i have completed and when with my instinct my instinct is, my instinct is always um, how do you say that hyperactive okay so i don't keep my position for longer time so now i changed but generally i am a hyperactive I, what i do actually i enter if i make profit i come out then i enter so this is what i had been doing knowingly or unknowingly i was making profit out of it so once i get a profit i will come out then i will enter slowly 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 it is a completely discretionary setup to be very honest this is due to the fear from the market okay so not 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 my technique okay and found expiry trading based on a video in a youtube okay i found a video wherein actually uh, a person was uh, selling options at 255 okay so there i fully found the uh, that expiry trading model then i slowly converted into my model so how do we start at 2 230 then i moved to 130 then i moved to 1230 and eventually i moved to uh, 950 so that's how i found expiry trading by 2016 uh, nsc uh, introduced uh, weekly options so my trend card was expiry trading wherein 60% of my profit was coming from expiry trading which i was doing only after 230 very simple i used to divide my capital into four pieces after 230 we'll sell options and we'll adjust and after 5 to 10 minutes actually i'll sell options so i divided my capital into four pieces when i was trading in 2014 and uh, 2015 and 16 that's it and 2016 to 17 a double drum card what is that shifted to bank nifty because the premium was very attractive and the room for adjustment is more with the bank nifty rather than nifty because the number of strike prices is more with the number of strike prices very less with nifty opposite side actually you don't get much premium but bank nifty actually you get a lot of premium i am doing 50% strangle and 50% straddles and since i was very hyperactive as soon as i make profit in straddles i used to come out <laughs> but strangles the profit used to come very slowly okay and actively done mini expiry this is a double trump card what is mini expiry there is a dk on wednesday as well so i used to call wednesday as the mini expiry and expiry is a expiry i thursday as expiry wherein i used to take a leverage on wednesday and sell options 
with the double the premium of what I do in expiry. Say for example, I'm selling options for 5 rupees on expiry. I was selling options for 10 rupees on Wednesday and I was making 25% of the money what I used to make in expiry trading. So mini expiry is no longer available right now. Even expiry is also is no longer available and divided my capital into multiple pieces. Okay. What is that for expiry trading? So as I said last year, I divided my capital into four pieces and then slowly divided my capital into eight pieces. So why? Because from 2.30, I moved to 1.30. From 1.30, I moved to 12.30. From 12.30, I moved to 10 o'clock. From 10 o'clock, I need to uh, I moved to 9.15. So once I started selling options on expiry day, so four pieces is not enough. So I divided my capital into 20 pieces eventually. Slowly, 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 20 pieces. I used to sell options on expiry day, slowly, slowly. So that's what I was doing on 2016 and 17 and made a huge profit. Because I was using the span margin, I was doing a mini expiry, I was doing the expiry. Okay, there is no other reason to make a huge money. Okay. Right. And 2017 and 18, there is a double term card. I'll tell you what. So the capital was 30L and I was making more than 100% uh, and stopped doing a straddles. I started realizing that doing straddles in positional is not more profitable. Wherein I used to get a profit because I am a very hyperactive uh, uh, active by nature. I used to come out with a profit very quick and most of the time we are getting profit only in adjustments with respect to the straddles. So I stopped doing the straddles. Okay. Then found expiry trading model 2. What is that? Very simple. Okay. So what I used to do? I used to enter in the morning at 9.15. Okay. Once I get a profit, decent profit from 12 to 1, I used to come out. In other words, in expiry model 1, I used to sell options for 5 rupees and then leave to the expiry. That is my standard. Most of the people would have watched in Traders Carnival video. In model 2, I used to sell options for 10 rupees, okay, with a stop loss of 20 25 rupees, okay, and I used to adjust the same model. But the premium is coming to 2 to 3 rupees, 2 rupees below 2 rupees. I used to come out. This generally what I do actually 12 to 12 30, I used to come out and then we'll sell again for 10 rupees again. And 2 o'clock, I used to come out and sell again. So I used to do three sessions. The reason why I found this uh, expiry model 2 because I was getting only four times exposure. If I were getting 10 times exposure, I would have happily uh, uh, would have done the expiry model one. Sell options for five rupees, five rupees, and 95 percent of that time you make profit. So the any invention of a new strategy is coming out of the problems and challenges you face right now. So I had been facing the problem of exposure in 2017 to 18 because uh, my broker started saying that actually we can't give 10 to 15 times exposure. They gradually reduced the exposure from 15 to 10, from 10 to 8, 10 to uh, 8 to 6 and 4 and 3 and one time only one time they had given exposure. So I am forced to find a new strategy. So that's how I found the expiry model too. In other words, there are three sessions, okay, three show. You go to any cinema theater, right? There are multiple show, right? Show one, show two, noon show, martin show, second show like that. Expiry, I had three show, morning show, noon show and evening show. So this was giving huge profit than expiry model one. Because an expiry one, actually, you are keeping your positions open till the expiry. It is risky. It's a gamma risk. In expiry model two, actually, you're going inside. If there is a problem, actually, you're going to adjust your position. If there is a, a profit, you're going to book it and then going to reinitiate. It is very, very difficult to trap an expiry model two. So the double trump card in 2016-17 uh, is different, but 17 to 18 is different. So one more change in 2018, I think it is in February, wherein there was a budget. Okay, so I was analyzing the market. The market was too bearish according to my analysis because a lot of put open interest was uh, uh, was unwinding. So I thought that actually market is going to be bearish tomorrow. So I started selling call. And next day, there was a gap down of 1200 points. I should be extremely happy, right? Because I am selling only call and 1200 points, but I am, I was extremely upset. The simple reason was, what if I would have taken a bullish view? I am selling naked short strangle. Then I would have been in a big loss. So this thought process 
ट्रिगर्ड मी ऐक्चुअली जग एंड इट डस् नाट मैटर हाउ मच प्राफिट यू डू सो रिस्क मैनेजमेंट इज इंपार्टेंट ईवन यू डोट यू मेक् फिफ्टीन पर्सेंट ना ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट पर आना यू आलवेज टू द रिस्क मैनेजमेंट मॉडल सो वाट इज प्रोआक्टिव ओके बिफोर यू गेट इन टू सम प्रॉब्लम यू टेक अ वैस डेसीशन दिस इज अ वैस डेसीशन ऐ हेड टेकन सो फ्रम टू थौसंड फोर्टी टू थौसंडन फिब्रवरी ई स्ट्रांगली टूक अ डेसीशन दट ई विल डू ओनली रिस्क डिफेन मॉडल सो ई मूव टू कंप्लीटली रिस्क डिफेन मॉडल फ्रम टू थौसंडन एंड दैट टाइम ओनली ई केम टू नो वाट इज नोशनल वैल्यू सो नोशनल वैल्यू इज समथिंग रिलेटेड विद रिस्क मैनेजमेंट Uh, there is a separate video wherein i have explained what is notional value so what is a possible worst of worst to loss it can happen for your portfolio so that is called notional value i explain in a different video you can check in the description so what happened to 2018 19 guys let me tell you the secret not secret once you move to the risk defined model it's really really tough to make a profit with the naked selling it's easy to make profit If you are making 100 rupees profit in a naked selling, you may make 25 rupees or 35, 30 rupees actually with the risk defined model. You will not have a patience. Okay, so in India actually risk defined model is not so popular, but in US it is popular. And there's a super duper reference is the Tasty Trade YouTube channel wherein I learned lot of risk defense strategies. Okay, but only drawbacks of Tasty Trade is it is not a drawbacks. I would say it is. this youtube channel talks a lot of data about us market not about indian market if you look at the data the nifty behavior is different and bank nifty uh, behavior is different right so you need to type cause whatever the data you are seeing in a test trade to the actual one to the indian market that's called costing in software right so i did a costing so what are the strategies i did calendar spread i did so calendar spread i learned from test trade okay and wherein I was doing this calendar spread only on Wednesday for overnight. It was giving good profit. And chicken iron condor. So it is it is it is a between uh, short strangle or or iron condor or iron fly. Okay, iron condor is for selling for OTM and then buying for OTM. And iron fly selling at the money and buying out of the money. And chicken iron condor you are selling little for OT. I mean little OTM and buying this one which I learned from the uh, this one. and fortunately 2018 and 19 i made a nice profit with the chicken iron condor and to be very honest after that it did not work at all so you need to actively manage only in low weeks this chicken iron condor will work if the weeks is very high you are going to make loss okay and calendar spread also i was making money there is no doubt but i started realizing the same thing the same feeling what i had with the short shuttle in short shuttle you don't make any profit you make profit only adjustments the same way calendar spread actually you don't make any profit and you make only in adjustments so that's what i learned and poor man covered call so this all if all fancy terms actually i learned from the tasty trade okay so uh, there is a separate video wherein i explain this poor man covered call you can refer from there only i found the, i designed the strategies of elite plus okay and twisted sister is my bread and butter for 2018 and 19 and 2019 to 20 what is that you are selling strangles and buying the hedge only for put i made to put a video maybe i will find some uh, in some other video i will try to explain what is twister sister you can say that actually sell short strangle and buy the put hedge that's it don't buy the uh, hedge for the call reason is there is no black swan event in a call the black swan event is applicable only for a put but in indian market the black swan is also available for call because there was a gap up happened two times i think three times so far so if you do the buy hedge hedge for call and put then it is called iron condor if you buy the hedge only for a put then it is called twisted sister and i was making good money with the twisted sister but you need to have patience okay and butterfly which i was ex exploring right now only for stbt and remaining 25% of the return is coming from expiry model 30% i made in risk defense strategies but keep in mind that the drawdown is less than 3% the drawdown is less than 3% for 30% capital with the risk defined model you get very very less risk okay and i use only four times exposure and also done momentum investment so i started buying the stocks 
which are going all time high so and then a big boy covered call for whatever the stocks i had i started selling a call options so the big boy covered call there is a video wherein i have put how i used to do the big boy covered call and how i used to get a rental income so this is one thought process this thought process completely changed next year so that's how i am each year i am changing i don't know why so that's how i am so being a hyperactive i am i mean i am forced to change every year right Okay, 2019 and 2020 unusual strategies. What is that? Total capital is one CR. I was extremely happy, so I thought that oh, for retail, one crore capital is a big dream. Okay, so I thought that actually I'm going to make a profit, but 2019, uh, 20, any strategies you do, most of the time it is going to hurt you. I mean, any strategy in the sense, selling strategy, okay? And chicken and condor, in stock, twister sister, these are all making profit. But this in stock is a special strategies wherein I was making super duper return. Okay, so this is a premium content which is available uh, in our workshop. If you would like to know what is, how I do the in stocks and chicken and condor, you can um, uh, subscribe for our uh, workshop. And from 18 to 19, I moved to the passive adjustments. So I thought that doing active adjustment, it, it gives only the satisfaction, but in long run, it does not give much profit. Okay. So I moved to the passive adjustments and here I haven't done any actively or any expiry trading. Moreover, we don't get exposure as well. So the exposure has been reduced and due to this Corona, I stopped doing the I stopped doing the trade for six months. I think uh, February I st st uh, stopped doing the trading and since April to the February I made a return, a return of 55% and these are the money minting strategies still it's applicable but I stopped doing in stocks right now the reason is for my capital this strategy cannot be done okay for the capital I deploy this cannot be done it's only the retail people uh, it is it is a re retail people paradise uh, strategy so this can be done and 2020 and 21 as I said set back the problem started from the pre COVID issue any strategies orthodox strategy iron condor iron fly short strangle short saddle two straight sister you name any selling strategies any credit strategy it was not working even calendar it was not working okay it's a very very abnormal behavior the premium what you see right now it will be completely different in next second so how do you analyze the data how, how do you find some strategies okay it was very very uh, difficult to trade in 2020 and 21 and to be very honest i was really uh, i failed to uh, read the tapes so i'm not able to read the premium so tape reading is not only for price it is also for premium i failed to read the uh, the premium i'm not able to catch the premium behavior it moves very very abnormally okay it is not uh, in some pattern okay so there only i found this elite strategies this elite strategy is derived from poor man covered call okay so so that's what i did as mainly to short the market in 2020 and 21 market was cra crashing in 2000 uh, uh, in big way for high weeks so most of the money i made in elite plus okay and some money i made out of the in stocks that's it and for here in this year actually i did not uh, trade for six months and here only I got a issue of the NSE glitch wherein I made a 8% loss wherein I had a, a, a lifetime uh, drawdown so guys uh, from 2021 to 22 I never thought that I will change this much okay so the change is the only inevitable thing so uh, before that I uh, let me talk about uh, the in stock strategy little so that you will come to know the changes for uh, 2021 22 in stock strategy wherein i had a uh, buy options in bank nifty naked buy options with the monthly as a hedge okay so 2021 uh, uh, and 22 i thought that again anyway you have the buy options in bank nifty monthly one why don't you sell uh, some intraday options in bank nifty because you have a buy so the margin is going to be too less so what i thought okay what I thought 
so i started doing the initial short shuttle okay so first i started doing a short struggle i was making money but the money was less okay and then i started doing a short struggle i was making money the money was very decent good return then i thought that let's target the higher return so i tried inverted short struggle so inverted short struggle that is the right word okay the money is good but the dd is high the drawdown is huge so found back to the short shuttle so go, uh, went back to the short shuttle i was doing only in rode short shuttle right now the reason why i moved out of the in stocks or monthly option not possible for aggressive return if you are going for monthly options with the risk defined okay if you are selling naked then you are going to make a bad return okay but if you are doing a risk defined then you are you cannot make 50 60% and all it is not possible with the monthly options and dd is also high and dk is very very slow and can i do huge volume in single instance you can't do 100 lots 200 lots with the monthly one but weekly one is more liquid than monthly one so i moved to the intraday then once i moved the intraday i thought that actually being a uh, programmer it was very easy for me uh, to automate the code i took a week of time and coded everything in a python okay coming to the algo trading how i learned you i don't need to learn anything because the broker is giving uh, the sdk in the sdk documentation everything is written actually how we should execute the trade how we should look for margin so how we should do, do a stop loss everything is there in the manual and being a programmer it was a uh, i mean kit work for me so then i started realizing that jagan doing a investment and putting a stop loss then you can do the trend following this trend following i learned from two things okay i mentioned only here number one is a dow theory but i don't use actual dow theory i use jagan theory it is a little bit uh, theory derived from dow theory number two actually this williams fractals you can go and check uh, any uh, youtube video or books williams fractal that will these two books will give a idea about this trend following and i am also doing some research on intraday as well so based on which i am also doing a trend following so i completely uh, removed all my investment i do the trend following in nifty futures and it has been really successful i had been updating the same in the uh, twitter so that's it guys and what's now what do i do right now r&d on various price action systems so a lot of things mainly on intraday for trend following i am doing a lot of uh, working and also diving into t, uh, tft uh, high, hft high frequency trading because my capital with the clients is also increasing closely so i need to find some system which will make a quick money in very short span of time so i am also diving into uh, hft high frequency trading so uh, also trying to concentrate on weekly positional trade to be very honest i'm getting some return but it is not so impressive according to myself okay so swing trading for non expiry trading and stpt sell uh, today and buy tomorrow which i had been doing right now so butterfly strategies okay butterfly strategy had been doing for longer period of time in start of my career now i started doing only for stpt before that i was used to carry this position till the expiry but i am using this butterfly strategy only for stpt so these are the learnings of what i do right now so nowadays actually i uh, take a decision that actually i am not going to trade on uh, friday intraday because the return what we are getting on friday is there is a return but the drawdown is more okay so it is better that not to trade on friday so that's all and guys i hope this video would have been really use, useful and uh, how did i grow up in terms of knowledge skills and uh, how i learned why i changed why did i introduce a new strategy so what is the key factor uh, which drove me actually uh, to different different strategies and thanks for watching this and i'll be back with one more video soon